Can you take us through that kick save there on Farabee late in the third? Yeah, I just uh, didn't really see it that good around the D and just kind of saw the, the blade at the last second and just picked it up a little bit at the end. And what was different in front of you tonight versus some of the previous games? Yeah, we were desperate in, uh, in the D zone. You know, everyone was clogging up the middle, collapsing to the net, taking away the second chances and stuff. So I thought they did a great job of, uh, you know, uh, limiting second chances, not giving up uh, too much odd man rushes, and just trying to play more patient above the other team and not letting them get behind us. When they got the goal on the review there, when they got the goal on the review there, how did you like how you guys responded? Yeah, I thought I thought we did a great job. We never got down at all, even after they scored. You know, we, we just kept playing, and you know, I think that's uh, that's important for us. You know, you felt in other games. Maybe the other team will score a goal or two, and we'll kind of get down on ourselves, and, and that can't happen because, you know, it's a long game, and, and anything can happen throughout the course of a 60-minute game. So, I thought we did a great job tonight, and I'm proud of the team. Can you describe the room just now? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's uh, it's a lot of relief in here. Everyone's everyone's happy. It's been a long time coming, and uh, you know, uh, now we can take a breath and, and start to try and. Put some more together. You, you said after the Nashville game that uh, yeah, after the Forsberg incident that, that wasn't a big deal to you. But how good was it to see tonight uh, Luke step up for you? Just everybody step up whenever they got within breathing the distance of you. Yeah, that's that's uh, amazing. I mean, I don't expect anyone to do anything for me, but uh, you know when they when they step in and, and show they care, you know that's that's uh, that's a good team. You know. What did they allow them by ovation at the end with the fans? They, they, they gave you a kind of an extended. Standing ovation yeah, after the yeah. buzzer. Yeah, I think they they felt the struggle too throughout the course of the first 10, 11, whatever it was game. So, you know, I appreciate that. That, that means a lot. For you yep. personally, coming to a new team and obviously you've been so close, 50 seconds away from the first win. What does it mean just to get that first win as a part of the Sharks? Yeah, I mean, uh, it took a little while for sure. Um, we're, we've been so close so many times. But, uh, you know, it's huge, and, and I'm really happy to finally get the first one with this new team. Um, they've been so great, uh, giving me a great opportunity and, uh, you know, good environment. So I'm just happy that, uh, you know, we could finally get that first one. Look, if you, had the, you were able to see the puck well tonight, and it was not much traffic in front of you throughout the game. Was, how, how much of that is a testament to the defense that they played that well in front of you tonight? Yeah, they're doing a good job of boxing out. You know, we... We made a note before the game on the PK and in the D zone, you know, of uh, you know, taking away um, certain shooting lanes and, and keeping sight lines available to me. And they did a great job tonight of really allowing me to see that puck. It felt like those penalty oh, kills, those penalty kills, were gave you further and further momentum there with that defensive effort. Yeah, yeah, it's it's huge for us. You know, we've struggled a little bit on the PK, and for us to, you know, kill off a couple P PKs, you know, gives our team a lot of momentum. Kenzie, I think you had like 15, 16 saves in the, in the third period there. Was just there just a mindset that they're not going to get the second one tonight? Was that part of it? Just try and do your job as best you can and make them beat you with a good shot. And if they if they can't beat you, then, uh, you know, you've done your job. Have you ever wanted a win well, so sorry. bad? What's that? Have you ever wanted a win so bad? <laughs> I don't think that if you focus on wanting to win so like like that much, you know, it's, it's almost uh, negative to you. So you just have to go out there. Play loose, play free, and just uh, do your job, and, and things will come together. Thanks, Mackenzie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.